Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Color Me Bad Lynn. Uh, back to share some amazing scents from one of our favorite boutiques, the Blue Bag Boutique. Yep, that's right. You guessed it, the Blue Bag Boutique. Rainbow Shops or RainbowShops.com. If you have been watching any of my other recordings prior to this one, you know that I love a good dupe. I hear you. Dupes don't look good on your uh, presentation stands, your fragrance cases, your vanities, so on and so forth. You can keep these in the closet, but I found some really, really good scents at RainbowShops.com within the last year or so, and I'm excited to come on and share my first impression about, I think, four or five new ones that I've yet to smell. So if you are interested in finding out what color me has found at the Blue Bag Boutique recently, please continue to watch. All right, so let's get into today's recording and video. Um, greetings to all. Welcome. Glad to have you. For those, if this is your first time ever meeting me, uh, we're not going to go through the logistics about who I am, what I do, what this channel is all about. Just enjoy. All right, let's get into it because I have several fragrances and I want to run through them pretty quickly because your time is valuable and I want to give you an opportunity to rewatch it again, right? So let's get into it. Again, these fragrances are my first impression of scents that I found at Rainbow Shops or RainbowShops.com. If you're not familiar with what kind of fragrances they offer or what kind of store it is, it is a really, really inexpensive uh, hip garment holding type of store so they have all the latest hippest flyest gear for very very reasonable affordable and sometimes dirt cheap prices so they also have like a little beauty nook in their store and then some of them depending on how big they are they have a really big area of nothing but fragrances accessories um stockings hats belts you name it all of that stuff they have it right and so i'm not really huge on um, their accessories even though they really have some cool ones but I love fragrances body lotions and creams and things like that and one day I was just hanging out in there but I had a little bit of time before I had to start work and I discovered they had these things and I was like a looky looky and so some of them have turned out to be really good you guys and so I wanted to come on today and share the ones that I have discovered recently so we're gonna start with the gentleman fragrance because I've shared on many occasions that a lot of the fragrances that I have discovered through rainbow shops have been male scents that are really really so let's get into it this one is called 24k surge okay bring the packaging in as you can see here it has a sticker on it and I love it when this happens because a lot of times the sticker tells us what the fragrance is a dupe for it'll say and I'm gonna read it to you verbatim okay so this is what I love when this happens okay uh, this is gold rush man so this is a Paris Hilton scent. I didn't know Paris Hilton made scents for men, so this is pretty cool. I'll show you the side of the box. They got really, really close to the silhouette that's on the original boxes of hers. I have a couple of the female scents that um, she makes, and so I really like when this happens. Sometimes even these will have the notes on them, and this box does. So let's see. Hopefully we'll keep it. We'll hold on to it. I do have a little bag here. I've got a blue bag for my trash. Okay. All right, so we got that out of there. Now with this particular company, I've shared before that they really put their fragrances uh, really snug inside the packaging. And so sometimes it's hard to get it out. So hopefully we don't have any trouble where I have to tear the box up. Oh, it slid right out, perfect. Okay, so the bottle is really, really nice. I got a little fingerprint on it. So, but this is what it looks like. Very nice, very sleek very nice very sleek demonstration I'm gonna spray the inside of the box um, I haven't applied any fragrance for today just yet but I don't want to smell like a man you know what I mean um, even if it's a really good fragrance because sometimes I do have scents that are male scents that I really really like uh, but I'm, I don't want to smell like a man it's too early for that but this does have a really nice scent you guys so I'm gonna read to you the notes that are in this 
Um, again, this is 24 Surge. These fragrances are $4.99. You can find them on Rainbow's website or you can uh, walk into one of their stores and purchase them. They're $4.99 each or they're three for $10. I think it's a great deal. Play around with them, layer them with your more expensive fragrances, do whatever you want. Okay, so your top notes on this one is Mandarin Orange, which is one of my favorite notes cardamom and bergamot so they're starting off a little bit sensuous and masculine at the same time your middle note is lavender you've heard me say on millions of uh times before i'm not a fan of lavender scents um however if it's done right i can rock with it and this is not bad this is not bad you can really smell the citrus more so than anything else so far it's got geranium in it and sage. I love a good geranium and I love sage in my fragrances and colognes. Um, and then your base note is vanilla, amber, and tonka bean. So I'm really interested to find out what this is going to turn into. But this has a very nice scent to it. Um, it is mostly uh, orange and kind of that mandarin orange citrus is really, really popping in this. So if you love a really um, orange kind of a scent, really citrus scent, uh, I highly recommend that you grab this. This is nice. And this could be unisex, you guys. It's soft enough. It's sweet enough. Uh, I love uh, citrus notes in my fragrances and colognes. If you don't already know that. Um, I was in heaven when they came out. When Clinique came out with the original Happy by Clinique. Um, it just smells like a bowl full of oranges. Love the scent of citrus, especially mandarin oranges, pomelos, sweet pink grapefruits, things of that nature. And this is really nice. This could definitely go unisex. I might keep this one for myself. <laughs> so the next one on the list um, is no particular order. I, I don't think I smell any of these just yet. This one is called Midnight Escape. And I'm going to put my, I might as well just keep these glasses on. These are some readers, so I might as well keep them on because I think all of these have the stickers on them. And I love when that happens. So this one is a duplicate for Yves Saint Laurent's Black Opium. If you guys don't already know it, if you haven't been watching a lot of my recordings, uh, I love Yves Saint Laurent Opium, the original Opium and Black Opium. Um, before I even knew the hype on Black Opium, it was a fragrance that I had picked up um, some years back when it first kind of dropped because I had a special event to go to and I didn't need an outfit for the event. I already had something to wear, but I wanted to have on something new. You know, you got to have a little good scent with your new wig on. You know what I mean? And so I was going through the stores. I hadn't purchased a fragrance. And when I say I hadn't purchased a fragrance for myself, in years and so something made me walk through and smell things and i ran into the Yves saint laurent black opium and when i tell you i ended up getting a gift set for that and it came with a mini and the lotion and the big bottle had no idea it was such a huge sensation i ran through that bottle so fast you guys i took and i loved it so much i still kept i kept my bottle my big bottle i still have it because I love the bottle so much. And I don't know why I haven't repurchased it. I'm not really big on gifting myself really, really expensive fragrances or high-end fragrances. Every now and then I'll treat myself. Um, but like I said, that was for a special event and I was super excited. Oh, so I kind of got rid of the... Oh, yeah. So it was Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium because the sticker has the... It's on the cellophane. It tells us what it is not inspired by. But that's what it's a dupe for, Okay. So again, Midnight Escape Eau de Parfum. You know I'll drift off into a story, a relatable story, right? So let's see what they did with this one. This particular company does a really good job of not only duplicating the scent that it's inspired by, but also the bottles. So that's what I really like about them. It's kind of fun. They got clothes, you guys. Like, they got clothes. This is cute. This is the bottle. This is what I was talking about. This particular company, the name of this company is called Sakura. They get super, super close to not only the scent of a fragrance, but the bottle. They really got close. This is really close to Black Opium's bottle and design. It gives you that same kind of vibe. And I really appreciate that. Um, you know, for those that don't care for dupes and think that it's a you know shame before God, I'm sorry. 
you know I love fragrances I love them from anywhere you know so first spray out I don't know how long this is gonna last but this is nice it's nice of course it's not Yves Saint Laurent don't get me wrong I'm a Yves Saint Laurent girl now you know I love me a YSL scent like I said my favorites are the original opium and I like black opium too so but this is this is very very nice very very nice you guys okay let me read to you the notes because these actually come uh, with the notes on them I like these because I like to decorate with my fragrances sometimes and when you have you know bottles like this you can decorate with them and you don't have to worry about um you know them coming up missing or somebody wants one or something it's really not a big deal if they like the scent of something that you have these are really nice gifting options and like i said i layer with a lot of these too so we're gonna do a video on i have a subby that gave me an idea i had thought about it but i've been encouraged to do a video on my favorite scents and that's what we're working on now so <laughs> bear with me hopefully we'll have it out within the next week or so um, the top notes of this one is pink pepper now I'm not pink peppers got to be done just right for me also but this did not alarm my sinuses so I'm excited about this um, also it's got uh, pear in it okay I love a good juicy sweet pear note it's got orange blossom we love anything orange in our fragrance then your middle notes is what I love to call your hard notes you guys they got close okay they put coffee in this one um, they got a little bitter almond and licorice in this. Um, they got a little bit of white floral in this. Then your base notes is what you get in your ending. This isn't bad at all. Like this is really, really nice. More on the, I smell a lot of citrus, sweet citrus in this. Um, so I'm interested to find out what it's going to turn into after a while or how long it lasts. That's my whole thing. I'm a huge person when it comes to longevity and fragrances, longevity in anything. Because you can spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a fragrance that lasts you 15 minutes. It depends on your body chemistry, the quality of the fragrances, so on and so forth. So, you know, that's what I look for too. Um, vanilla, patchouli, love me some patchouli. Um, it's got a cedar and cashmere wood. So this is nice. This is not bad, you guys. Um, it doesn't smell exactly like opium, black opium. But I, like I said, for the design on the bottle, the way that it looks, it looks so much like the original bottle. The scent is not bad. It smells almost identical to uh, the fragrance. And so I would be interested to find out um, how long this one lasts on my skin and how much power it has But this smells really really close, and you know everything smells different on the skin So on my skin I can smell that coffee notes I can smell something a little milky on the lactonic on the on the skin. It's got bitter almond It's got licorice in it. These are some notes that I really really love in fragrances that are dark and sexy and for a nighttime fun and the event that I originally purchased this the original one of this for was like an evening event uh, and so that's what this is for I don't know y'all they did a good job on this one now I'm gonna have to sit this one out and pop this one on this is good this one again is a midnight escape Eau de parfum it is a duplicate for our one of our favorites Yves Saint Laurent's black opium very very close Okay, so far so good. The first one was 24K Surge, uh, which is a duplicate for Gold Rush for Men, which is a Paris Hilton scent. Very nice, sweet, citrusy fragrance. Cologne, I should say. Um, it could definitely be unisex. I might keep that one for myself because I love a good orange scented fragrance. And lately, I've been picking up a lot of scents from them that have a really nice citrus orangey no to it this is good i want to see how long this one gonna last y'all this one smells very very good i'm real picky about my sense so if i say that something smells, i'm not saying my word is law but i'm really really picky i'm really good at quality and notes and fragrances and i'm telling you i found some really good scents and that one is nice it's nice all right so moving on to the next one somebody said girl bye <laughs> trust me i know what i'm talking about um this one is a tranquilla okay not anguilla but tranquilla okay this is the box 
if you can't tell by the symbol again this company does a really good job of giving you the vibe of whatever fragrance it is inspired by this is another Yves Saint Laurent uh, duplicate and this one is Libre okay and the, yeah, it gives you that vibe look at the box it gives you the vibe even though it's not the same name the lettering is reminding of libre if you have a libre fragrance this is how the lettering on the box is so if i pull this back like this it gives you that vibe you know what i'm saying aesthetically nice so this item is not associated with the makers of libre by ysl or Yves saint laurent but that's what it's a duplicate for so let's see what they did with this one now this one is one that uh, I love this scent, but for some reason, it just doesn't, um, it's got a, like a lot, more, um, even the flankers, how that lavender note sits on the top of my skin and it doesn't go anywhere. And lavender is fine. For me, it's just not one of my favorite scents. And so that and a couple of white, like a white one, white floral in particular that I used to really, really love, I can't wear and so it really bothers me. Now the bottle actually gives you an idea. It kind of gives you the vibe of Dolce and Gabbana. Um, it kind of gives you the vibe. I'm going to spray this one because I like the bottle. Um, it gives you the vibe of Dolce and Gabbana's Le MP3. Okay. Okay. Okay little sophistication that popped out of there for me okay i can do this i might be able to do this one um it's very very bright okay so your first night uh, note on this one is here they come with that lavender again they better fix it though they gotta fix it quick because i can't do that lavender it's calming down so you got mandarin orange in this one you've got black currant which i love black currant it's got pedigree in it. So what that pedigree is going to do is it's going to cancel out that lavender for me. Um, and that's what I love. So I always, even if fragrances have certain notes in them that I don't care for, I look for other notes that are going to accompany um, in that fragrance. And then I check it out because there are a lot of fragrances with lavender in them. There are a lot of fragrances that have jasmine in them. There are a lot of fragrances that have certain notes in them that I don't really care for. It just don't vibe well with me. But if it's mixed properly and done properly, I can rock it. Um, so your top notes of this one is lavender. Um, you got mandarin orange. You got black currant again and pedigree. Okay. Something in this one ain't working too good for me though. Something in something in this one is kind of yeah uh-uh some ain't yeah, i have to let this one sit for a minute it's a little it's turning a little weird on me um uh, middle notes again lavender orange blossom and more there's jasmine in the middle of this now um i have a lot of fragrances in my collection with the note of jasmine in them it is a really really popular white floral that you will find in a lot of fragrances um especially your spring and your summer fragrances um, but if it is heavily noted with that particular white floral, I can't stand it. Um, it just doesn't work well for me and it activates my sinuses. It's horrible. Um, so when I tell you that I love white florals, I'm talking more of Lily of the Valley, uh, more so of Magnolia, those types of white florals. Honeysuckle, even though some people may not deem honeysuckle as a white floral, but honeysuckle you know fragrances fragrance notes like that or more so when i'm talking about a white floral that i love that's normally what i'm talking about yeah it's something in this that ain't ain't hidden right with me y'all um it's got madagascar vanilla which normally does me really really well so we're gonna wait for this to simmer down because madagascar vanilla um any type of vanilla really but normally kind of smooths out and gives your fragrance a little bit of a uh, creaminess or a little bit of balance from those uh really really loud um notes and so something in this is really really strikingly like it's beyond like it's almost irritating um then you've got uh musk in here cedar and ambergris so I'm a good I'm a good candidate for fragrances with ambergris in them. Like I said, I love patchouli, vetiver, ambergris, um, you know, all of the things. I love all of those anchors in my fragrances. Um, but something in this is not hitting me right. 
almost kind of like the original Libre. Like everybody talks about that fragrance. Uh, and I just, it's just something that I just can't. That gives me um, headache vibes almost. Like it would give you a migraine almost. Um, so this is probably something that I would not. Yeah, something in that is not. And it's got a really nice vibe to it. But it's got something in it that just ain't popping. Okay, so we're almost at the end of our chat about these fragrances that I've discovered. So that last one, you guys, was a duplicate for Libre by Yves Saint Laurent. You know, I love a good Yves Saint Laurent fragrance. They overdid it on something. Um, it's just not working well for me. But I'm willing to give this a chance and I'll tell you why it's because I have fragrances like that in my collection that like I said been sitting for years and years and I mean years and years um, and I'll play around with them see what's up with them make sure there's still some good and you know maybe five ten years ago I couldn't stand a fragrance and now it's like oh you know if it's kept properly and things of that nature and we'll talk about storage and stuff like that later on down the line too but um yeah so i'm gonna give it a chance because i found in the past that sometimes when you give up on fragrances too quickly you miss out on some good stuff and so it's a little bit it's a little bit you know i, I wouldn't spray it up here because i have sinus issues and we're entering into springtime my body entered in the springtime like maybe three weeks ago I, I you know i kind of um you know all of those kind of you know your body changes is transitioning you start to you know you start to feel a little bit warmer and cooler your body change you know we're connected to the weather in the universe so your body gonna tell you what time what the seasons are even if it's a blizzard outside so anyway um let's get into our next one this one is says sweetheart beach vibes i'm not sure if we have this one already or not i couldn't remember but i grabbed it anyway this one doesn't have a sticker on it if we do have it we're gonna give it away anyways um but i just wanted to you know look and see um i couldn't remember but it the box kind of looked familiar but i couldn't I wanted to see what this one was about. I like the color of it. It reminded me of vacation. You know what I mean? So that's what I I wanted to see what this one smelled like. Now this one didn't come with notes or anything on it. So we are not going to uh, be able to tell what this one is. It kind of looks like a Victoria's Secret fragrance is what this looks like. It's what the vibes are giving me. Either that or Tommy Bahama. One of the two. But because they didn't give us a sticker, we are not going to know, um, you know, what this one is going to duplicate. So I won't be able to tell you what the notes are um, in this one. But it did come out very, very tropical. Um, very, very kind of like a Victoria's Secret-ish. Um, it's really, really cool on the skin. So this probably has a really, really heavy water note in it. Um, or coconut water and those types of fragrances normally don't last on me but I'll tell you what I like about this it smells good and I love a good tropical coconut pina colada type of scent and it has that so I will definitely keep this and play around with this one to kind of see what it's going to give me because I like the scent of this. It's sweet. It almost smells like a fruit punch soda or something. You know, it smells better than it tastes, but it, all, it you know the smell, even if you don't drink it. Like the combination of like a fruit punch soda, a pineapple soda, a pina colada soda. I'm so St. Louis vest, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what this is giving me. This is giving me, it's giving me, I like this. <laughs> I like this one, y'all. This one is Sweetheart Beach Vibe. So I want to see <laughs> how long this one lasts. I love tropical scents. I love them. I have um, two fragrances right now that I'm kind of playing around with and layering with some of my fragrances um, that are um, Bath and Body Works scents. And 
they are tropical like one of them smells just like pineapples like crushed pineapples and it's so good and then the other one is more of a coconutty type of but they all have this type of vibe like this is really nice you guys this one is beach vibes definitely definitely like this one so far this is my favorite out of all of them don't know what's in it but if you like the smell of tropical coconutty pineapple ooh, ooh, activate me <laughs> I had to simmer myself down there. I, that you, I told you, you know, fragrances and scents, they take you somewhere. And I'm telling you, Beach Vibes is really good, you guys. Like I said, I have found some really nice scents. That is very, very nice. Like, dreamy, baby. So we have one more uh, that I want to share with you guys. And this one I know without looking at the box. It's going to be a duplicate for a time for a fragrance. I can tell aesthetically by the box what they're going for um i have a dupe of theirs by this company uh for men and it's the f and fabulous okay they did a really good job on that one so i was really intrigued when i saw this one because i wanted to find out how it smelled because i love the scent of peach i have a lot of fragrances that have a sweet peach in them some white and just some just a regular old sweet juicy peach but I love that note in my fragrances, okay? And so I wanted to see what this one was. And I love a good time for a fragrance and cologne. And so I could not resist. This one is called uh, Endless Romantic, okay? And I love a good romantic too. Look at that. Never stop. Endless. This is good. So let me put my specs on so I can read to you guys. I already told you what it's. A duplicate for us for Tom Ford's it's a uh, duplicate for Tom Ford's bitter peach is what it's a dupe for so let's see what happens all right we gotta see straight up for that uh, so your scent notes your top notes are going to be peach they starting off good with me you got peach blood orange yes sir cardamom and heliotrope okay then you got uh, in the middle rum cognac Divana and uh, Jasmine. Now, hopefully with the rum and the cognac note, it's going to cancel out that Jasmine White Floor. I told you, there are so many fragrances that I had in my collection I got rid of or I don't wear anymore that had that note in them. They just kept activating my sinuses and I had to figure out what was the problem and it was that particular White Floor. I can't do it. I can't do that fragrance anymore. Okay. Then your base notes are Indonesian patchouli leaf. Okay, you've got vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, benzoin, cashmere, styrax, labdomen, and vetiver. So these are all notes that normally work pretty good for me. So I'm excited. Okay, I really, really, really am. And that'll happen sometimes in your fragrances and things like that. You will, you know, find yourself having things that you can't wear or they may give you a headache um, or they may not smell good on you and things like that that you can you know gift them away or sell them or whatever the case may be because sometimes you just grow out of things and that is one that I just can't do I don't know what happened but I don't know what brought me to kind of dig through all my scents, but I was just noticing every time I wore certain fragrances with certain notes in them, I just couldn't do them anymore. So they did a really nice job of duplicating the aesthetic of how Tom Ford's fragrances and colognes look. I really appreciate this. Okay. Again, this is called Endless Romantic. The name of the company that makes these is called Sakura. And again, you can find these at Rainbow Shops or RainbowShops.com. These fragrances are four dollars ninety nine cents each, or they are three for ten dollars. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray. I don't have anything on the top of my. Okay. Nice little pump very very powerful there it's not a $15 sprayer but it's definitely now also you don't you want to this one's got a loose top so you can't pick your fragrance up like this because this it'll pop it'll fall and if you don't have any carpeting or padded flooring you know you might lose your bottle so 
beware of that okay definitely giving me peach y'all <laughs> um it doesn't smell like bitter peach of course i wasn't expecting it to smell exactly like you know um a higher end fragrance but it is definitely a dupe for it and i definitely smell the peach and i will definitely be wearing this it smells good y'all like they hit this one on this is on the money like this is good i smell the rum note i smell the co co the cognac note um uh, if you don't know i love fragrances and colognes that have um a boozy note to them i do i absolutely do i may not drink it you know right now <laughs> however i love a fragrance a cologne with a boozy note in them um it just the same way that it smells is the same way you know to your nose palette is the same way that it does in colognes and fragrances it just gives a sweetness to your fragrances and colognes that is indescribable and anyone who loves boozy noted fragrances understands where i'm coming from and for this to just be five dollars i am impressed because i can smell it i got i get it i get that i like this you guys like to the point where i would definitely keep this one um and you know maybe try to grab maybe one or two more of these just to have um because you know when you have stuff like this you run through it if it's a bedtime fragrance or if you're layering with it with something because this sprayer is like really really loaded you're gonna spray out on this really fast this is you can see you can see how that see how much comes out of there you know so it's not spread out evenly when you spray like on other colognes but i can smell that all of that is right up in here this is nice i am impressed with this this is called endless romantic so i got two that i really really like um this one is beach vibes very very nice um it didn't give us the notes in this but it's definitely giving me a tropical vibe kind of like more like a, a victoria's secret type of a scent um really really nice i'll be interested to find out what that turns into because i love longevity in my fragrances and my scents y'all but this one right here i am in love with this I don't know which one I like more, the tropical vacation vibe or the boozy peach. This turned the level up on Fuzzy Neighbor. This is your girl, Color Me Bad Lynn, saying thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate all of your love and your support. I'm not just saying that. You don't have to click on my videos and you don't have to hit the like button. But since you're here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Uh, I'm grateful uh, for your acquaintance. Maybe down in the comments below, you can send me an email. My email is inside of my YouTube channel. Both of them go to the same place. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My junk mail is loaded with eroticism type of emails lately for like the last two months. I've been getting weird like um you know emails i don't click on them but i don't know how to unsubscribe to them either because you know some stuff you click on that spam it will you know destroy your system and so i don't even know how to unsubscribe to them y'all so i don't know what's happening in my junk mail folder but it's wicked pray for your girl thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the next video rainbow shops or rainbowshops.com three for ten dollars or four dollars and 99 cents you guys endless romantic a dupe for bitter peach good good peace